Hey, 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 hello. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Space Tomato here, and we have just gotten our first look at Halo Infinite gameplay. Now when I say just, I don't mean like literally minutes ago. Uh, this video is actually coming out a couple days after the gameplay, so I'm sure you've seen, heard, read plenty about what was shown at the Xbox Games Conference. I, however, am a tomato, so my words are different. The exosuit is now complete. And I appreciate you clicking on this to see what I have to say about the game. I would like to start out by saying that I have been a lifelong fan of Halo since 2001, and I am very much looking forward to this new interpretation of the series. I think it will be a bit of a rebirth of the game series. I think 343 has taken a bit of a chance to reboot it here. Um, and so I am really excited to see what they do with the series. So far, I have mixed opinions. So let's jump in and go through the gameplay premiere, eight minute demo, and I'll tell you what I think, all the little things. Thank you for coming to this tomato talk. Step inside. Am I dead already? I, I must be. I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. So let's talk about this first little sequence. We're coming in for a crash landing, and I know some people believe this is the first visit that we are having to Halo. This is the beginning of the game. That is not true. From what I've heard, this is... This is a fair amount of time into the game, and there are some hints here and there throughout the demo that show that our protagonists know what's going on already. So this is most definitely not the beginning of Halo Infinite. No, get, no, you, I can't stand this. Who oh, you are? Free. This guy here, who we still don't have the name for, is definitely our co-patriot of the game. Uh, he's very likable. His voice actor is great. Um, he seems like a very driven character. Obviously, he wants to get home to his family, uh, but he's putting up with Master Chief's crap. I found you. Remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home. And he's obviously set up for a character arc. He doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to do this. He's very much out to save himself and get back to his family, which, I mean, who wouldn't be? I imagine by the end of the game, he will be ready to sacrifice himself for the cause. That's just, you know, classic character arc kind of stuff. Oh, please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. <sighs> okay, big guy. He has, he has respect for the Chief, though, and I like that. Now we jump right here into the hut of Master Chief, and the first thing we see are... Objectives. This is a very open game compared to other Halo games, much like ODST and much like the second level of Halo Combat Evolved. You get objectives, you can do them in any order you like, and you can do what you want in between. However, with this game, it seems like they're going a bit further with that, and I've heard several different ideas for why the game is called Infinite. Some saying infinite possibilities, open world allows you to do anything, some saying infinite ring, infinite land. <laughs> I'd like to mention that the Warthog there, great sound, not as gruff and high displacement of an engine as I'd like to hear from the Warthog, but it, it sounds nice. So let's pause here. As you can see, we've got a top-down map, something that you don't normally get in Halo games. Uh, we did get something like this in ODST, but definitely not to this amount of detail and not for a mainline game or a game this large. If you look at the main objectives, um, they feel a little placeholder. 
and I'll get to that in a second when I freeze the video again. Uh, but let's look at the top tack map upgrades database. Database obviously is your codex. It's it's what's you know all the information you collect throughout your adventures. This gives the idea that we will be doing a lot more backstory hunting, finding collectibles, finding little nuggets of information around the world. This is going to be much more a exploration based Halo than before. You can also view missions down at the bottom, which makes me think you can take multiple missions at once. And you can set waypoints, which is nice. That means that this is probably going to be some pretty big maps. Let's move forward a little bit here and jump to that objective I was talking about. Now you can see here this AA cannon is controlled by a command console inside a control room underneath the cannon. Use the weapon to hack into the console and destroy them. Obviously you have some grammar issues there. This is probably some placeholder text or just very quickly done last minute. Now we keep going. You can see you can start this mission, view your mission, zoom in, or focus in on the player. And this really gives me the sense that you will have quite large amounts of space to roam in. They also refer to this area that you just saw on the map as an island. That's one of those tips that makes me think they've been on Halo for a little while at this point. They know what's going on. They know that this is an island per se, and that there are other places they can travel to. Now, Halo has always been known for the visceral experience, the uh, feeling of shooting, and it's always improved with every game. Halo 5 being the latest. Very satisfying to shoot things in Halo 5. Um, I know that sounds very violent, but bear with me. The same thing looks true here. Despite the graphics, shooting things... In fact, look here, watch this. He takes out the legs of this brute, and the brute stumbles. It's a simple thing, but it makes it so much more fun to shoot and play in detailed fashion. Nice little shield block of the grenade there. Equipment is back, able to be grabbed and picked up. Most likely not permanent for your character though. Grapple hook was also used there. Looks like it has recharge down there in the bottom right. And this pistol is not the Magnum that you'd expect from Halo, but rather uh, something called, I believe, the Sidekick. You see that tower over there on the left side of the screen. There are rumors, there are thoughts, speculation. I kind of agree with them. I think that might be the auditorium that we hear mentioned in the end of this gameplay demo. Some believe it was the Palace of Pain, which is a, well, the name kind of describes it from the books, uh, but it could be the auditorium that the brute refers to in the last speech. Now check this out. Look at the right side of your screen way over there right above the gun you see the grunt over there holding the two grenades now watch what happens to that grunt with the brute to its left Whee! <laughs> i love that i i love that the suicide grunts can get chucked through the air at you that is such a brute thing and it is such a grunts or cannon fodder kind of thing i love that now looking at these guns that are being used this is the pulse carbine seems like a a uh, slight variation to the regular carbine, a burst rifle, maybe the Covenant version of the battle rifle. Whereas the carbine that we know may be replacing the DMR. Now here you can see the grapple hook is used for movement and traversal. That'll probably be a popular thing in the game. And I've watched this in slow motion and I gotta say, it's really satisfying in half speed. Try it and watch the, the effects of enemies being shot in this whole segment. It's very satisfying. Uh, the animations are pretty good. While there are some graphical issues here, the animations are solid. My biggest problem with the graphics are, uh, you can actually see it more earlier in the demo, when the chief shoots the enemies, the bullet impacts create like a spout a fountain of light to show where the bullet impacts the enemy's bodies and it just looks so bad to me it was the first thing i noticed during my first watch through go ahead and rewind and check that out again it is not good looking i hope they change that um i hope something is done to fix that Now, 
for those who don't know, the Banished are a faction from Halo Wars 2, led by Atriox, who is trapped on the Ark right now, but has commanders who are, well, pretty thorough. This is one of them. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> Here you can see all of these tags are from the Infinity, the ship that we were on in Halo 5. The best ship the humans have to offer. Now, it is not a good sign if the Infinity was defeated, and it really doesn't make much sense to me. And I'm hoping that that is maybe just unknown info, maybe just some misdirection on 343's part. I'll be looking forward to hearing more about what exactly happened to that ship and all these people because as of right now, well, it says they're all dead. The rain is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. There's that auditorium I mentioned. The Harbinger and the Banished. And the Harbinger, well, what is Harbinger? Usually the first, the vanguard of something, right? The, the bringer. So there's going to be a lot of speculation about the Harbinger. It'll be interesting to see what kind of theories come up about that. I grew weary, lost, alone. But here you know, I, of course, agree. He looks kind of bald for a Jurahalne, which are generally pretty hairy. They may fix that, or they may, they may, it may be specific to the character. So that's it, eight minutes, and it passes like nothing. Every time I watch it, I'm like, that was only four minutes, but oh, eight minutes of gameplay. Um, you know, a little bit was a cutscene, but generally eight minutes of the game for us. And uh, it was, it was, n <laughs> I hate to say it, but it was not as expansive as a look as I was hoping for, but it did give us an idea of some of the gameplay. It gave us an idea of the open world aspect of the game is absolutely open world. I mean, some people are still theorizing that it could just be semi-open, uh, much like Halo Combat Evolved was, but there were a lot of signs in there to tell us that this is a game focused on um, being more open, focused on having you explore, having you collect, having you search around and tackle missions however you want to tackle them. It also seems like a game that is going to have a huge space to explore judging by this being just a single island, um, judging by what they've said, that this game is bigger than both Halo 5 and 4 combined, and judging by how large of a conflict they seem to be setting up. That being said, where we are in this demo seems to be the central location, with the, what I assume to be, auditorium there, is showing up in all of the key art and everything that they've shown. So, that's the general look we've gotten so far. It's it's not all that expansive. We haven't learned that much about the story. I think this is more a chance to show off what the gameplay is going to look like and feel out the crowd for how they're thinking. I don't think they can change much of the game at this point as launches in four months. Um, I could see a delay happening due to the graphics, due to the rumors about multiplayer possibly not being included. I don't put any weight to those rumors, but you know, there's always a chance and it would not be great for the game to be delayed as it's supposed to be a launch game for the Xbox Series X and supposedly Series S. So we'll have to see what happens. I'm sure they're going to give us more information as the months roll on. We'll get multiplayer information. We'll probably get a little more story information. And with that being said, I'm happy you decided to join me for these impressions of this gameplay. I cover plenty of Halo. I stream Halo on Twitch, so if you'd like to hop over and play Halo with me, or just, you know, watch me suck, uh, feel free. The link is down in the description, and I would love to have you guys over there to chat with you. I also will be covering plenty of other games, including Cyberpunk 2077 and Star Citizen, so if you find 
you are a fan or at least curious about those games, consider giving me a subscribe and following along as I cover everything that I can twice a week, every week for the foreseeable future. And I'd like to thank you again for coming to this video and I hope to see you in the next one.